Hello, Henry. How are you today? Good. I'm glad you're doing good. Um, my name is Brianna, and I have Amanda here with me. We'll be your nurses today. Um, we're, today we're going to start off by uh, taking your vital signs since you just got out of surgery. Um, and um, I'm going to do an assessment head to toe and teach you how to change your colostomy bag, okay? And did remove the cancerous part of your colon um, that they had found, so it went well. But they did have to make a new path for your stool, which is the colostomy that Brianna mentioned. It's right here on your abdomen. Um, the stool will not empty into a bag. Um, Brianna will teach you about that. Um, but um, the doctor would also like you to return for a colonoscopy, just to a routine colonoscopy in about a year. But we'll set up that appointment for you in a little while here. Okay. All right. I'll be right back with your medication. Okay. While she goes and gets that, Henry, I'm going to take your vital signs. Henry, now I'm just going to change or I'm going to show you how to change your bag and your wafer. And then I'll do your dressing change, okay? So, right here in your abdomen, you have your, your stoma site and you have a bag. The bag has a clip at the end and the clip you can reuse um, until you need to rechange or until you need to use a new one whenever you feel necessary. So you just unsnap your bag here and your bag you can empty as necessary, um, but you can change it change your actual bag and your wafer every three every three days okay and you want to make sure you pull gently you don't want to tug your skin too hard and just toss this and when you're cleaning around your stoma site you want to be sure to use a warm moist washcloth and not to dry. You do not want to completely dry it because that can cause irritation. My washcloth is warm and wet. I'm just going to wipe around. And your wafer, you are going to have to cut it out. So, um, oops, sorry. I'll show you how to measure it, but your number will never change. So, your stoma is, you'll use about the 38 millimeter mark, which is this one right here. Okay. And that's what you're what you will always cut your wafer at. So some some wafers are already measured, they already have their circles numbered. Um, but for yours you'll just place your wafer on top. I'll show you a trick to make it easier. Go ahead and set it on a flat surface and just draw a circle around it. Draw a circle. And then you can just take your wafer only and cut around that line. Now you don't want to remove the, the tape before or else your scissors will stick to the tape in your wafer and you don't want that because it's going to go directly on your skin. Okay. And you want to prep your skin with a skin prep. Just go around lightly. This will make, uh, make it easier for your wafer to be removed. Feel like it's only been a day since you changed it and it begins to come off, you can always place some 
stick and stay better. Then you just take your new bag, you take your cleaned clip, and just snap it on. You don't want any spillings. And you just put it on, make sure you have little loops on here. Oops, sorry. Have little loops and make sure those snap on. And then just double check, go around, make sure everything is snapped on and you're good. And that's that. Do you feel comfortable changing your own stoma, your own bag and wait for cutting it out? Do you have any questions? If you have any questions at any time, at any point, don't hesitate to call us, okay? We're more happy to help you. Okay, well, we'll be back in to check on you in a little while. But if you need us before then, your call light's on your right side or in the bed rail here, okay? Just give us a call. See you.